Hello and welcome to National Focus for Wednesday, April 10, 2024. I am Julian Morris. In the headlines, Prime Minister Skerritt encourages cross-border partnership with French neighbors. Under-16 netball team takes third place in the Jean Pei netball tournament. And a shuttle service for Jazz and Creole Festival patrons this year. The details of the headline stories and more when we return. Ride safe, wear a helmet, safer roads in the nature aisle. This message was brought to you by the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Welcome back. Prime Minister the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt has urged citizens to explore the possibilities awaiting them in the neighboring French territories. During a segment of Creole Heartbeat on Wednesday morning, he emphasized the importance of leveraging the various opportunities accessible in the nearby regions to foster economic growth and enhance cultural exchanges between the islands. I, I do not think that we in Dominica are taking enough advantage of the opportunities which exist in Martinique and Guadeloupe. Um, Martinique and Guadeloupe on their own have a population close to one million people. And if you add those who come from, from France yeah. um, alone, during the summer. from mainland France alone during the summertime or yeah. during, during vacation, um, you can add another million to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also a major gateway to Europe Absolutely. Uh, in, terms of, um, in terms of access to Europe, uh, especially where um, tourists are concerned. Because a, a, a man comes to Guadeloupe, there's not much he can do Guadeloupe after a couple of days. Yeah. But he could take the boat, the ferry, come and, come, and, and come to Dominica and, and spend a week. By encouraging cross-border partnerships and collaboration, Prime Minister Skerritt aims to create a platform for mutual benefit where both Dominica and the French territories can tap into each other's strengths and resources. One notable example highlighted by the Prime Minister is the World Creole Music Festival, where Dominica has seen significant patronage from the French islands over the years. More collaboration, uh, more engagement of the French territories um, should be done. But you also will agree that when the Creole Festival started, we were hardly getting people from Barbados yeah. or Trinidad or, or any of the English-speaking countries. Now, now you're seeing now a dramatic increase and in interest um, in that. So I'm saying that the festival has evolved, but I still believe that, and I agree with you, that Martin Gwadab has a special place um, in respect to um, some kind of special and differential um, commitment to them um, because they, 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 they're part of the Creole culture and the Creole movement. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I think that more, I agree with you, that more could be had um, from a, a better strategy on engaging them um, in, in a conscious manner um, in terms of the promotion and marketing and not only of the, of the Creole Music Festival, of the country as a whole. By breaking down barriers and fostering closer ties with neighboring regions, Dominica can harness new opportunities for trade, tourism and cultural exchange, ultimately benefiting both the local economy and the wider community. The Ministry of Youth and Sports welcomed home the under-16 national netball team as they returned from participating in the 2024 Jean Pierre Caribbean Youth Netball Tournament. The team clinched a third place coming in after Barbados and Grenada. The tournament was held in St. Lucia and ran from April 3 to 10. The Maya Ford was named Dominica's MVP for the second year in a row. She also received the President's Award. Four of the players were also named in the tournament's all-star team, including Captain Kenya John, Vice Captain Lemaya Ford, Tamisha Pielwi, and Nisha Remy. 
Sports coordinator Mr. Trevor Schillingford commended the girls on their performance. On behalf of the ministry responsible for sports, we want to congratulate you on your performances in St. Lucia. Dominica plays third in the tournament, but we um, are satisfied that you gave true representation to your country. There were times when the going was rough and you gave it your best shot. And there was no better example of this than in the last game against St. Vincent when you were really looking like um, things were a bit rough and um, a quick change, a few changes were made and we saw a few people rising to the occasion and ensuring that we secured that much needed victory for Dominica at the end. So I want to congratulate you and thank you for the representation that you give to Dominica. He says that while they hoped for a higher finish, Dominica must be proud of the effort that the young girls put forward during the tournament. Dominica plays third, meaning that we maintained our position from last year. We left Dominica with the intention of making it a few steps higher, right? That we were not able to achieve. We know that there were a few technical things that happened which probably prevented you from making that next step, but these are all part of sport, right? And we accept your food place, and we are happy with the performances, right? And I also want to um, single out um, the four members of the team who were selected to the All-Star um, team, that is the tournament All-Star team. I think we are the Kenya John, um, the Maya Ford, Timisha Pielwe, and Nisha Remy. He also congratulated Rochelle Marshall, one of the newcomers to the team who won the individual shooting competition. And I also want to congratulate um, Roch Ro Rochelle Marshall, who I think won the, um, the shooting competition, individual shooting competition in the tournament, and then our Dominica team for, be for winning the overall shooting competition at the tournament. So there's a lot here to celebrate. Right? And your performances are worthy of celebration. So we are the Ministry of Sports. We celebrate you. We are happy for your performance. And we want to assure you that we will continue supporting you on your netball journey. It is a journey which started way back during the month of December, where we had you showing up every Saturday to be part of the training process. And I know it was hard. Because anybody who is exposed to the sun out there would know that it's very hot these days. And you girls were committed to the training. You attended most of the training sessions, if not all. And what we are seeing there is a result of hard work. Meanwhile, captain of the under-16 team, Miss Kenya John, says she's proud of her team's performance. The tournament has been good. It has been very competitive, positive, and I've... My team and I learned a lot for all the days. I am very proud of my team and myself for pushing hard and having confidence in each other and ourselves. I was happy with my team, but a little disappointed because we were aiming for higher. But I'm so proud that we stayed in the top three to make ourselves and our country proud. We keep working hard, keep pushing, always stay motivated, and keep your confidence high no matter what the media or other people may think of you, always think positive about yourself and ensure that you push to the best of your ability to make the team and to represent proudly for your country. Kenya's mother, Miss Carleen John, also expressed pride in the accomplishment of the team. I think the team did an excellent job. Um, the girls worked hard, um, they prepared hard, um, they fought a good fight and um, not only as a parent, but like you said, as a, a netballer myself, I can tell you that they went out there and they, they, they practiced what they were taught on the court uh, months of, in months of preparation and the outcome. Um, even if we didn't um, emerge the winner um, for foot position, um, 
with teams like Barbados and the teams that have more resources and more experienced players, I feel that we did an excellent, exceptional job. She encouraged parents to always support their children's passion. If you're passionate about sports, um, don't, don't just um, look at the sport. Don't just um, think about playing. Go out there and, and take a chance. You know, I played netball from since I was about 11 years, and even though I'm still a member of this Patterns um, Netball Club over 20 years later, and I always push my daughter, you know, to go out there, um, not only play, but be disciplined. You know, if you can be disciplined at home, then you'll definitely be disciplined on the, on the court. Um, sports is, is something that will, will help you grow. It's not, it's not only academically that you have to push your children, but you have to also push them into sports. So I would encourage parents um, to encourage and support the children who are also interested in sports, whether it be netball, football, basketball, whatever they are passionate about to support and encourage them. A shuttle service has once again been organized for patrons of the 13th edition of the Jazz and Creole Festival. The annual festival is scheduled to take place on May 5 at Fort Shirley, Cabritz in Portsmouth. Events assistant Mr. Ogeli Moses gave details on the shuttle service which will be available throughout the day. Persons or patrons staying in the area of Glenvillia, you can pick up your first shuttle area, first shuttle services from the Glenvillia playing field. People or patrons living in the Portsmouth regions, that is Borough Square, that's our second, second pickup location. The third pickup location is the Portsmouth Market, and the fourth is Tatan Stretch. So you have four locations. So let's go back again. We have the Glanvillia Playing Field, we have the Borough Square, Portsmouth Market, and Tatan Stretch. So you have these four locations where you could park your vehicle in the area. Yes, there will be security patrolling. Yes, Portsmouth is safe. Dominica is safe. And you can hop on, and then you can depart at the Moroccan Hotel area. The shuttles will have drop-offs at different locations until patrons are at the site of the festival. And then you hop on one of our shuttle services to take you from the Moroccan area to the Daspa building. So you pick up, you hop onto the bus to the coaster, AC, you fill in a wellness because we want you to come with your curl fusion outfits with the makeup still intact. The hairline still there, you know the white powders on the hairline, we want that still intact. So we want you to come and we want you to be well relaxed on our shuttle services. So great, so after we put, you bring you to DASPA, we have the next leg, which is the final leg, we bring you from DASPA to Fort Chile on top. And then when you enter, you enter into that, wow, that aura, that amazing feeling that you'll get from the music from the smells of the cuisines, and you're welcome to Jazz and Creole. The fee for the shuttle services will be announced at a later date. Mr. Moses also informed patrons on where they could purchase tickets for the event. You can get your general admission tickets at only $175, only $175. This is very reasonable. What I can say about it, go to the ATMs, take that checkbook, purchase, purchase in freeze, in fours and fives, bring your family. So you can get that general admissions for adults only $175. Children between the ages of 12 to 17, you can get your tickets at 75 EC, 75 EC. Ticket outlets, Deepex Color Lab, Bullseye Pharmacy, Water's Edge located in Borough Square, and also online, easy access. If you don't want to walk, pick up your cell phone, pick up your tablet, go to your, your laptop, Type in www.domicafestivals.com and go to our jazz portal and purchase our tickets. VIP tickets can be purchased at HHV Wichich in Roseau and at the Wichich Travel Office in Portsmouth. A VIP ticket, if you're feeling like you're a very important person, you want to stand out with your outfits, you can go to HHV Wichich office and purchase that VIP ticket. You can go to Wichich Travel in Portsmouth that is upstairs the RBD building and also online. And you can also come into Discover Domka's office to purchase a VIP ticket. Get, get your tickets. What can I say? You have amazing artists. We have amazing 
French partners with amazing side acts. It's just greatness at Jazz and Creole. It's wonderful. You can't miss it. It's the 13th edition. I believe that Jazz will go until we reach, let's see, 100 or the golden. I'm looking for that. I will be in my outfits with my grays and my cane. Looking forward to the theme, looking forward to the tickets and amazing people. Jazz is a family friendly oriented event and we must take this opportunity. Jamaican American reggae artist Alain will headline this year's event. Other performances will include violinist Mappy, Dominica's Princess of Song, Mikael Henderson, and Swinging Stars, and Leanne Lily Octave Letan. The festival will be held under the theme Creole Fusion, encouraging patrons to include parts of Dominica's culture and national wear in their outfits. You are watching National Focus. More when we return. I love the freedom when I'm out there. Simply put, the worries from shore, none of that out there. And it's my daily bread. I learned it from my dad. My dad is one of the senior guys here who catch the biggest fish around here. And he's top with the red snappers. It's a family thing. I'm the only one fishing right now in the family. Just keeping it going. I enjoy bringing them up, man. <laughs> Sometimes we have a yellowfin tuna, 400 pounds. Man, let me tell you, that's just a joy out there. I enjoy going out there and just holding the big fish. I don't lift weights, I lift fish. The morning of my fishing trip, I would get up, make a little spice tea. Then I come down here, I have my GPS, which most fishermen are supposed to have that. Normally I prepare the day before, because whenever you go out there, you must have ice. Ice is a must for preservation of the fish. So I always make sure I have everything the day before. My fish represents me, and I bring good quality fish ashore simply because the restaurants themselves, they have to show a quality product. Tourism and agriculture go hand in hand, that's what I think. We're all connected, it's, it's like a big machine, and I'm just so proud to be a part of it. My name is Brandon Carlyle, and tourism is my business. Welcome back. General Manager of the National Abattoir, Michael Etienne, says he expects operations to resume at the new $6.4 million facility by April 1st of next year. Government has signed a $6.4 million contract with Regional Contractors, Inc. for the construction or reconstruction of the National Abattoir. Arrangements have been made for meat production to continue during the period of construction, which is expected to last a year. In the interim, what we... Uh, what, what the Ministry of Agriculture has done is to ensure that the workers, the staff, are relocated within the ministry because there are, there are suitable other areas that they can be in. However, we are in contact with a local farmer who was a, who was a prominent producer of the abattoir to continue operations for us and we will lend him our staff as well to ensure that the farmers that we have that continue to produce whilst they are rebuilding can be facilitated with the slaughtering of the birds. Livestock farmers are expected to continue to provide the animals for processing under an alternative arrangement. We have suspended operations at the location of the abattoir. However, the, the functioning aspect of the slaughtering of animals and the progression of the whole industry is continuing because of a couple farmers we have with the capacity to help our contracted farmers as they wait for us to finish rebuild. The first phase of the project will be three months in duration. For the, um, the first three months, the design, you know, the, 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 the worry fell of how we're going to construct it, you know, the length, the breadth of it, what, 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 what is going to happen when they start building. And the rebuilding physical infrastructure stage is nine months. So within a year, we should have a brand new avatar. I'm looking at having our first major slaughter operation April 1st next year, hopefully. Yeah, and, uh, and, and, and we'll push for that. You know, Dominica needs it, the farmers need it. The reconstruction of the National Abattoir is seen as another major intervention which will help agriculture contribute $700 million to the annual GDP. Employees of the National Employment Program in the Bagatelle-Font-Saint-Jean area 
are pleased with the impact of the initiative on their quality of life and the upkeep of the wider community. They were delighted to share with GIS how they felt about the program introduced by the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt. Well, it's a very good program for the community. We tile up the place, we plant all, we keeping the place tidy up, making the place look beautiful, beautification, planting flowers, cutting the grass, putting the place nice, making the place look beautiful. No? So it's a very good work for the, for the village, for our people in the village. It's a good program, it's helping us different ways. So we have a, a, a living from that. So that's a good program for the, not the community alone, for the Dominican. The work is a good work. I was working and I get a little job under the government. I satisfied. So I paid my little bills, everything. So I satisfied my work and all the village was to be clean. Is that I like about that? Everybody talking about it is good work we making in the village. We've been soon all around and they like the, the, the way we work in there. So it's a good thing. Everybody talking about that. So I, I like my job too. Look now we're going to make some stones for to make some walls by the road. So we, we finish, so tomorrow we have to go back again. As I do in the NEP, I weed in, I sweep in, I rake in. All, all the workers in the NEP, I do in it. And praise God for the day scared I get that job. I pray for him every day, every night. He's he doing a good job for, for Dominica. So the and NEP the, really helping all the Yes, it's the helping home. me, it's helping me. I, I get, when I get my money, I buy a little thing, it's helping my family, it's helping the village, the village getting clean, everybody saying the village is very clean. I appreciate everything, keeping the place clean, and thanks God for the PM. This program has benefited a lot of us, especially single parents and um, single households, people with um, partners that had no jobs. Um, when the program came around, the country has been clean, yes, but NEP is doing a spectacular job keeping the area very tidy. And we of Bagatelle are being moved to different segments of the country to clean, help clean other communities with other NEPs. Um, as you can see, these are some of the sites. We clean this area, we plant all the flowers, we beautify. We have worked Mont Daniel, we've worked um, at the groundbreaking ceremony at Goodwill. Um, we worked Bellevue, we worked uh, Jubik, and we are presently doing Petit Savan area also. The NEP is an initiative of the government of Dominica aimed at creating jobs for young people. Approximately 4,000 individuals are currently gainfully employed under the NEP. Coming up next, the Creole News Highlights with Jeno Jacob. <music> Bienvenue à ce nouvel en créole, nom de M. Geno Jacob. Le gouvernement Dominique a mis autant d'attention à ce développement sport. Le gouvernement a mis l'argent en autant de villages pour développer plein fil et puis faciliter la monde esprit jeune gens à jouer sport. Sport important pour santé nous et puis développement Dominique. Sport a aussi mené le monde ensemble. Il y a une plein fil là, le gouvernement a développé, c'est plein fil de Watton Waven. Chairman du comité de développement Watton Waven. M. Rudolph George, de plein fil là, qui a coûté le gouvernement plus de 1 090 dollars. Pour être des acteurs pour pour mon jouer et là ni y est seulement par la journée y a que jouer qu'on voit ouais ou que ouais la clarté clarté là aussi so c'est mon là qui passe à jouer la journée les y a qu'à travailler y a ça vient de jouer y a ça vient de courir y a ça vient de marcher marcher à plein fil là toute longue la nuit qu'est-ce qui Cléthéa qui l'a c'est hot sola. Et il y a espéré Zebla profiter à ce plein fil là. Nous avons espéré Zebla profiter là, nous avons servi et ce monde là qui a travaillé à la NIP, il y a coupé Zebla et le ministère sport qui est venu rouler Zebla et faire un place pour cricket. Et là aussi, après ça, il y a nous, et bien, ce comité là, Plein fil la vie, la nouke se fait tout moun a village la, se vi plein fil la, san pièce poublem. Et di plein fil la, la y plein fil la fini sa se, yo ke ni komite spo. Atan lo tan nou teni yon group spo a village la, le nou teni yon lo moun ka jwe football esi, Spring Stars, me apresen nou poko, wi, koumè di sa, am... 
mené sport euh, comité à vivre mais les plein fil là qui fini mon santé ça tout le monde qui les fait au au groupe sport pour manager plein fil là et pour y conduire et veut dire ça ça fait ça qui ça fait et ça qui passe ça fait qu'est-ce qui ça que trouver en l'eau monde que les ça que les jeux qui qui même les ça que les jeux football mais c'est faut nous mettre à non manière les ces femmes là qui trouvent en, en place en temps et ces jeunes bouc là qui trouvent en temps pour jouer différents sports pour mener comité à ça sans plus problème national employment program là NEP important en développement dominique Premier ministre Dominique, on a besoin de l'esclavit, développer un EP pour un des gens qui en l'âge, et puis pour les gens, esprit jeunes gens, expérience en travail, et puis pour Jean Dominique, nettoyer Dominique, qui était propre et puis net. Supervisor un EP Guambi, Cléolie Thumb, dit un EP important. NEP a c'est very um, important à Dominique, il est important à Guambi, il est important à whole Dominique. Parce que nous, à NIPA, nous avons fait un um, pays à garder bien belle. Et avec tout le monde, nous pouvons venir ensemble et travailler avec ces gens-là. Actuellement, nous avons trois personnes qui travaillent dans les chimères. Euh, nous sommes plutôt femmes, nous ne sommes pas autant d'hommes, nous sommes autant de femmes. Mais et ces femmes-là qui travaillent plus ouais, qui sont hommes-là, ils ne sont pas servis de la mère qui est femme-là. Le um, programme là c'est un bon programme. Nous avons pris ces elders là. Nous avons la caillou, nous avons maintenu la caillou. Si nous avons un pied bois pour couper, nous avons coupé. Si nous avons la porte, nous avons besoin de nettoyer, nous avons nettoyé. Ça, nous avons besoin de faire, nous avons fait. J'ai pété, nous avons pété la caillou. Ah, bah, le programme là, à Gwambé. Quand nous avons fait, nous avons un vêtement pour les gens qui ont parlé de NIP mal. C'est les gens qui ont parlé mal contre NIP. Mon le yo attend fait ça. Programme là c'est un bon programme et il kaba opportunité pour jeune moun travail. Pardon tout moun en office yo avec pen avec paper yo, ça nous c'est les chimères. Office nous c'est les chimères et pen et paper nous c'est pelle piqua avec balier. So c'est un job tout. Office yo yo ni couverti, office nous c'est les chimères. So, nous apprécions le nous, um, job. Là. Nous avons travaillé avec well, le gouvernement a fait peine possible pour faire nous taper l'argent. Nou. Même si nous ne pas taper les le on time, mais depuis que nous tapons, les bills nous ont payé, c'est tout qui m'a Emergency Agriculture Livelihoods et puis Projet Résilience Climatique lancé un programme pour Wendy Planter et puis Agroprocessors taper l'argent grant pour le business. Yo. Pour développer l'économie dominique et puis faire la vie dominique meilleure. Et puis pour sécurité, manger. 620 personnes qui bénéficient de cette initiative. Il y a 120 agro-processeurs, 500 planteurs et puis il y a 100 personnes qui ont levé bête. Planteurs et agro-processeurs qui veulent taper le grand funding le 17 avril 2024 dans les salaires pour voir l'application de l'entrée. Les agriculteurs qui ont encouragé planter pour prendre avantage du programme salaire. Le gouvernement veut transformer les produits agricoles et puis les valeurs. Exemple, breadfruit chips, hors de yampin, farine, hors de mayoc, bitin comme ça. Manger le salaire, manger le salaire, ça c'est le produit dominique qui est valé en la place locale, régionale et puis internationale. Ça c'est tout à ce nouvel en créole. Non, M. Geno Jacob, au revoir. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS Dominique on Facebook, YouTube, and on Twitter. You can also drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm. From all of us here on the GIS News Production Team, I am Julian Morris. Thank you for watching.